I can't believe I'm going back here tonight. I seriously can't. And this is a really stupid move. Alright, fuck this. Ugh. Should be alright. <laughs> In and out, a quick job. Not risking losing anything. <clears throat> Okay. So now I do. I build the block inside. I lent it with the flat, with the steel, and then I what do I do? Build uh, stone on top of it or whatever. Maybe with pillars around it or something. All right. It's gonna be nighttime again. It's not night. It looked like it was gonna be night. Maybe I'm wrong. It is going to be night, you liars. I see it. Flame does not need oxygen in this game. Oh, yeah? The fire will eventually put lava in glass. I thought that netherrack, the fire never goes out. It burns indefinitely. That's what I was just told. So now you're, now you're messing with me. Come on, man. I guess we could try it. We'll try putting it in there, lighting it, and see what happens. Let's see what happens, guys. The flame does not go out on the nether rack. Okay, good. I need nine other rack inside the glass housing. Dig the cobble one block down in a three by three square. Place the nether rack in the new three by three hole so it'll be flush with the bottom of the glass and light with the flint and steel. Careful not to light yourself on fire. <laughs> Great. That'd probably not be good if I lit myself on fire. It'd probably be a big mistake. Then I gotta build a top, right? I have the cobble for that. Yeah, I gotta build a top and I'll probably build some p pillars around it. All right, so. I think what he was saying was to dig a hole, dig another layer down, but I don't want to do that. I just want to go all the way up the glass, and then I'm going to put stone on top, a stone layer on top, and then I'm probably going to build columns around the sides of it. Let's see how this works. Oh boy. Okay. So, do I light it now or do I put all nine in there and then light it from the top and it'll work? I don't know how this works. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. I might also burn my face off. I have the flint and steel. No worries. Right here. Oh, I didn't have enough. I'm not getting it back. Oh, you don't get it back.
Alright, I guess I light this on fire. Okay. And now I build a top floor, a top layer of it, right? On top. So... It's okay. The column's on the sides. All right, Cosgrug just sent me $5. Said a bit more to help reach the goal. Thank you very much, Cosgrug. We're up to $74 now today. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay. And I just want to put a top on it. Should I put a glass top on it? I could. Hmm. I can't do it one block higher. I'd have to be inside to do that. <laughs> can't do that. Unless I do this. Right? the breaking sound effect of smash. There you go. Okay. If I wanted to, I could put stone on top of this too. That's probably kind of cool. Oh, let's see. Cody Carls took me a dollar. It's a nice, chill stream despite the nether situation. Hope you do more streams of this. Thank you, Cody Carls. As long as I can come back from any any adversity, I think that's that's the key about Minecraft is, yeah, you could fail, but if you keep trying and you don't get discouraged, you could come back and do something cool. Like, this is pretty nice. This is kind of exactly what I wanted. Even though we could have done glowstone, I kind of wanted fire. A traditional kind of old obelisk style. Um, right? How's that look? It's fine. Okay. Let's see what it looks like from the ground. That's going to be the key. Is what does it look like from the ground? Boy, it took many sessions for me to build this fucker. <laughs> what was it? At least two, if not three, I've been working on this. Timbo says, wait until night. Well, I will. We'll look at it at night, too. See how it looks at night. Can't really see it from here. 
Oh no, I forgot to plug the hole. Oh man, look what I did. I accidentally left one thing of brick I didn't or uh, cobblestone I didn't fill in. I gotta fix that. Fuck. That's what I gotta fill in right here. This is an upside down stair. No, it's not even. There, fuck that. It's not gonna look perfect. The corner's gonna be fucked up, but it's better than nothing. All right. So the front will have a minor aesthetic uh, flaw, but that's okay. Shit. There you go. Yes, Chris, I did die again tonight. Absolutely, I did. It was miserable. I died in the nether and I lost my pickaxe, my good pickaxe. I don't have it anymore. Remember the pickaxe I had that had, like, crazy luck imbued in it? And I would get, like, double or triple experience and double or triple rewards? I didn't, I lost it. I'm fucked. But the good news is the lighthouse is going to be done. We got it done. Not with the glowstone I'd originally intended, but it's still done. Oh, cuz, girl, you weren't here for that? Yeah, I lost my pickaxe. I got everything else. I didn't lose anything else. I still got my, my bow and arrow. I still got my good sword. But I lost my fucking pickaxe. Yeah, it was not a good time in the nether. I was pretty upset. I was lost. I was confused. I was attacked from all angles. It was not good. But it's all good. I think we had some good recovery. All right, so... Let's see how this looks from a ground level. Now that it's night. Well, Cody Smith says, this is, this is a big tip. Next time you go to the nether, leave your pick a good pickaxe at home. Well, no shit. That's probably a good, good tip. Thanks, man. All right. Oh, what the? There it is. Hold on. Fuck this stupid thing. There it is. So what's actually funny is the tower itself is very dark around the middle, but at the top you could see it. Can you see it from really far away? Let's say, let's say here. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. You know, you got the tower there. The uh. With the with the, the the light on top, you got the barn, you got the tree house. It's a good setup with the dock here and everything. I like it. I definitely like it. I think it looks much better than what I had for sure. Are you kidding me? Um the hard work paid off came out pretty nice. So thanks for everyone who was patient as I fucking did it. It took forever. I finally got it done. I don't know what I want to do next. Oh shit! I know what I want to do next. I lucked out. Are you kidding me? Finally. All day I've been waiting for this. Hell yes. So now we can relax and I can get some fishing in. Fishing is very relaxing in this game. Alright, here we go. Hell yes. Yoink. Huh. <laughs> Fuck. By the way, someone asked if Chestnut's going to be going anywhere anytime soon. No. 
Uh, guys, I wasn't going to do a new mascot every month. What I was going to do is seasonal mascots. Like, for example, for Halloween, we'll have Potion. For Christmas, we can have uh, the Christmas Pooch. And, um, and then, you know, Chestnut will be around probably, you know, most of the year. Maybe every once in a while I'll mix it up, something different. But for the most part, no, it's going to be Chestnut here. So now that I'm fishing, I have really nothing to do but fish. What do you guys want to talk about? we got a little bit of time here left. Anyone got any questions or anything to talk about? Fuck, I'm doing it too early. Bone Meal will be back for, for Halloween, probably. Easter? <laughs> For Easter, do you want me to get a, a special thing? Seriously? Like a little rabbit or something? Wow, I'm not getting anything. What's going on? There we go. Come on, give me a good enchantment for the pickaxe. Because now I need to make a new one. How do I get a good one? What am I going to do next in this? I don't know. I honestly don't know what to do next. If anyone has any recommendations... Maybe try to gather a bunch of wheat and go back to the villagers and trade for a ridiculous amount of emeralds. See if they have anything new. Plizat just took me another two dollars. Thank you very much, Plizat, for the tip. I appreciate that. He said tip time. No, I'm not going to have a Monty Python rabbit. Or a bloodthirsty rabbit that eats your limbs off for Easter. Absolutely not. The... Get some wool from sheep to make wool for building the Easter Bunny. Yeah. At least I'll get some levels. Dagasaurus asked me, do I enjoy the Rocky movies? I don't think they are both. I like the Rocky movies. I mean, obviously you have to understand there's nothing realistic about the Rocky movies. They're all ridiculously over dramatized. They're nothing like real boxing. But I'll, if, as long as you understand that, they can be a lot of fun. Uh, there we go. Oh, the dolphin. There's a dolphin right there. Is he coming? Hey, a dolphin. I almost never see a dolphin near my pier. Rocky 1 through 4 are pretty good. Yeah, I agree. Rocky Five is the terrible one. That's the one where it's more about his son. And he doesn't really even box. It's really stupid. It's about his son and um, the kid who he's training, right? I think Rocky Five is the worst one out of all of them. Then you got Rocky Balboa, which is technically Rocky Six, And then you got the new Creed movies. I've only seen the first Creed. I didn't see the sequel. Anyone see the sequel to Creed? Was it good? Where freaking... What's his name? The son of, of Apollo Creed fights Ivan Drago's son. Anyone see that? I know that came out in the fall or whatever, but I didn't see it. Not getting anything good this time. Yeah, I'm not getting anything good. Just fish. This is the correct rod, right? Yeah, it is. I'm, I, I look at the C2, but I'm not getting any good luck. Cree 2 was pretty good, but nothing spectacular, says Trevor's story. Do I believe we need an actual Walking Dead game? It would be nice to have a good one. <laughs> Cody Curl says this is the month of Valentine's Day. Any romance movies you like? Nah. I'm not I'm not for that kind of sappy stuff. Neither is Cat either. Cat doesn't like the sappy shit. <laughs> what the hell? Here we go. Alright. Oh, Cody Smith, I have plenty of food, don't worry. Because I fished many times. I have like a ridiculous amount of food. Uh, Bulletproof says, well, I'm going to try out Piranha Plant. Yes, I am. In fact... I'm seriously considering either Sunday or Monday night would be a, sh a nighttime stream of Smash where I would try out Piranha Plant. So I'm not sure yet what day it'll be. Maybe Sunday or Monday night. 
this this coming week. I, I think I will do it this week just to give, give the Piranha Plant a shot in Smash. Smash Ultimate. Am I going to Olive Garden? Absolutely not. Pogisk says, do I prefer this on console or do I have it on PC? Well, I played this on PC in like 2015. And that was before the version... It was That was the version that ran on Java. And it ran horribly on my PC. It was choppy and shit. It was just really bad. And it crashed a few times. So I didn't know what to expect when I played this on console. And honestly, it plays really smoothly on Xbox One here. Like, I've only it's only crashed a couple times. I haven't really had too many issues with frame rate or anything, so. However, though, there are glitches. Like, sadly, sometimes I load my game and I fly out of the sky and die instantly. I lose all my levels for no fucking reason. Inexplicably. It's weird, sometimes the fish will put this under the water. I pull it up, and I get nothing. Yes, I did hear about Dean Ambrose possibly leaving WWE. It's pretty much likely he's going to. I got an enchantment book. Awesome. Finally something good. What game am I playing nowadays? Now I'm doing uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. I just finished up Resident Evil 2 Hardcore mode. And now I'm doing... Uh, oh, I got another enchantment book. Excellent. Now I'm doing Kingdom Hearts 3 as my main playthrough right now. Cody Curls, isn't your PC worth $3,000? Why can't it run Minecraft well? First of all, no, it's not. It was when it was new. It's not anymore. And the problem is the original Minecraft ran on Java. It had nothing to do with the strength of your PC. The game itself wasn't well optimized at all. Then later on, I believe it was reprogrammed when Microsoft bought it and everything. Microsoft made it so it was compatible with like everything, including consoles. Which is why this is running so nicely and smoothly. Although they didn't take out all the bugs, which is hilarious. They should have. Yeah, I'm aware there's tons of mods for the PC version. I'm very aware of that. I just wanted something that was very ease of use, accessible, sit down, play it consistently, have no real problems with setup, have no problems with crashing or frame rate, not have to sit in front of the piece. I like being able to sit on my couch here and relax when I play it. It's a more chill game, right? I got a bow, so what kind of bow that is. If only I could get an enchanted pickaxe, but I don't think you, I don't think you can get enchanted pickaxes from uh, the water. I've never gotten one. I never got any pickaxes from the water, so. Okay. Would I consider doing a wrestling YouTube channel? No. I prefer being a fan of wrestling at this point. Even though at one point I used to do a wrestling commentary show and I took it seriously and it was a big part of the stuff I put out. I just like being a gaming streamer now. I don't really care to uh, do any kind of like a professional show about wrestling or anything like that anymore. I just like being a fan, watching at my own leisure. If I don't get to watch wrestling right away, that's the thing. Half the time I don't get to watch wrestling. Like today's Friday. I haven't seen SmackDown yet for the week. That's okay. Maybe later tonight I'll watch it. If I don't, it's not a big deal. There's no rush for me to see every piece of fucking wrestling right away because I'm not going to do a show about it or anything like that. That's the good thing now. I can just be a casual fan and enjoy wrestling for what it is. That's why people are like, what are you expecting for the Royal Rumble? What are you expecting for this? Nothing. I'm just a casual fan now. I just get to watch it, enjoy it at my own pace, and not worry about, oh, how super serious it has to be when I, when I talk wrestling or I have to do a show about wrestling. I have to take notes about the show I watch and shit like that. So... <clears throat> When is the retrospective event? Have you chose all the videos? Says dope, do, uh, dope so. It will be, I believe, more than likely the day before the, uh, Valentine's Day. So maybe February 13th, which I believe is a Wednesday. Um, yeah, that's probably going to be the day I do it. And no, I've not chosen the videos yet, but there's a lot of great nominations on my forums that I need to sort through and work on. So I will be doing that eventually, just not this week. Okay. I got a few books here, Cody. I didn't look at them. Here's another one. I'm pretty sure I got three to four books. I also got a bow. I want to see what the bow is. 
The rain's gonna run out soon. Yoink! Yoink! Am I playing on peaceful? No, I'm playing on whatever the standard is. Like survival or whatever? This is not peaceful mode, no. There's definitely aggressive dudes coming after me. Am I getting cracked down with Game Pass for $9.99 or paying full price $60? Bucks? Good question. Anyone familiar with Crackdown 3? Do you think I'd be able to do like a playthrough of it within like a week or two and be done with the game? I'd never want to play it again. Or do you think there's a reason to ever go back to it where I actually want to permanently own it? Chances are, if really it doesn't look like a game that I'm going to want to go back to after time, I might just get Game Pass, get it for 10 bucks, Play it for the month and then forget it. Get rid of Game Pass. Not renew it. Because <laughs> I'm already going to be buying Jump Force and uh, Metro Exodus. That's you know that same day. So certainly to cut down on the cost and I have to drop $180 in one fucking day would be nice. Oh Cody, I definitely will show you the uh, books that I got. But let me finish. Let me finish fishing. Then I'll check on all the loot that I got from fishing here. Alright. Crackdown seems like a just cause game. See, I never played any of the Crackdowns before. Not once. So I really don't know what to expect if I play Crackdown. I have no idea. People have told me that it's like, like uh, almost like uh, Saints Row. Like Saints Row 3, some people say. Or like Prototype. I don't know. Damn, I'm up to level 16. I got 15 levels from this fishing trip. This is awesome. So it's kind of making up for the levels I lost mining earlier. I'm, I'm getting the levels back again. Now I'll probably die before the end of the stream tonight. Something will happen. I'll eat the blowfish uncooked and I'll die of poisoning and lose all my experience again. Or the tower that I just built will crash on top of my head and kill me. Haha. <laughs> All right. There's 22 characters in Jump Force. That's a good selection. That's a good that's a good selection for a fighting game. Even though it's more of an arena combat game than a serious fighting game. All right. Well, this is going to run out soon. As soon as it hits nighttime, that's when this is going to stop because the rainstorms in the game only last 24 hours in game time, of course. And it started right when it hit night. So I know that's going to end soon. That was zombie meat. Ew. I got freaking zombie meat from that, from fishing. I don't want that. Come on. Take that shit back. <laughs> I should play as Yugi. I'll probably try a lot of the characters in Jump Force. Because I know a lot of them from various animes. I'm not going to know any of the new ones. Like, what's the new one? Micro Academia? I'm not going to know shit about that. Or Hunter x Hunter characters are in it. I don't know any of the Hunter x Hunter characters. No, Cody Carlson will not be a new mascot this month. It's like I told you guys. It wasn't, it wasn't intended to be a monthly mascot thing at all. It wasn't. You know, Halloween we had a mascot. Christmas we had a mascot. Maybe, maybe... You know, Chestnut will be the mascot for like the like the the early earlier year. I don't know. I, I'm not intending to buy a new mascot every month. Okay. Damn, up to level eighteen. Pretty good. I'm very happy we got to fish tonight because it's relaxing. I get to talk with you guys constantly and I get great loot and experience every time I do it. Okay. Alright, the rain's going to end soon. It's like I said, as soon as it starts to get dark, the rain's going to end. I 
moved ever so slightly. I like the sound of the rain in this game. It's relaxing. A lot of people find the sound of rain very relaxing. You know, calming rain, nice rain, not <clears throat> torrential downpours or crazy ass monsoons or hurricanes or tornadoes and shit, but, you know, just re regular rain. <clears throat> very soothing, right? Right, Cosberg, soothing. And we get a lot of rain like this out here in uh, Washington State. A lot of rain like this, so it's kind of nice. Not gonna lie. One of the huge pluses since I moved to Washington is the weather is so much better from where I came from in Connecticut. Like, we haven't had freezing temperatures at all this entire season of winter yet. And it started, what, over a month ago? Nothing. We haven't had any snow, no ice, nothing. It's just, like, very moderate temperatures between, like, mid to high 30s and, like, to, to mid 40s degree Fahrenheit. So we're good. We're, like, nice weather. The sun's out. It's a nice, it's a little bit warmer day. It's nice. outside. get a little bit of rain. doesn't bother you. It's very nice. Okay. Next week's going to be wintry, Josh. Josh, Josh, on cigar says next week's supposed to be wintry. Yeah, we're supposed to get colder temperatures next week. I wasn't aware of that. Fine with me. I always take... I'll take the cold over the heat. Reason being, when it's cold, you can always get warm. When it's warm, you can't always get cool. You know what I mean? Out here, we don't have central air. So in the summer, all we have is this air conditioner in my office pumping constantly to cool the house down. And it doesn't always work so well. Sometimes the house can be quite hot and sweaty and yucky. Timbo Slice says, nothing beats having all your windows open with the rains in the summer. Yeah, man. Get a nice, refreshing spritz of water coming through like your, 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 uh, your, what the fuck? Why can't I think of the name of it? Oh my god! The screen! Why couldn't I think of the word screen? Yeah. A little water coming through the screens, refreshing when it's hot. Yeah, I love that. All right, so the rain's almost done, guys, and we're about to hit level 20. One more. I hit level 20. I went from level 1 to level 20 here. That's a pretty damn good haul right there, if I don't say, if I do say myself. 20 levels of experience in one fit, one uh, rain. That is excellent, man. That is excellent. It's going to end any second, though. That man stood on his dock for 24 hours fishing. What a freak. Josh Hushel and Cigar says, There's snow in Vancouver next week. It's dropping to 20 degrees Fahrenheit here. Seattle is similar. Prepare for black ice. Good news is that uh, neither Cat or I neither really need to drive too far, so we should be all right. We shouldn't have to worry too much about ice. But thanks for the suggestion. What was that? I don't even know what that item was that I just pulled out of there. Cody Carls cheered. He says, I remember seeing old pool party vlogs recorded back in the day. Do you ever miss those? No. That wasn't a regular thing. That was like my friend just inviting a few people over randomly. And I was like a pool, you know, it wasn't like any big deal. It was a name tag? Okay. Oh, fuck. All right. One last one. All right. Let's see what I got. Feather Falling 4, Blast Protection 3, and Mending 1. Agua Affinity 1. Respiration 3, Feather Falling 4, Blast Protection 4, Fire Aspect 2. So this would be make my armor basically respiration. I'm thinking you should breathe underwater, right? And if I fall, I won't take damage. And if there's an explosion, I won't take damage. Fire Aspect 2, I'm assuming also good against fire, right? Oh my god! This is pretty damn good. The only thing one this one needs is power, right? This bow needs power. It's got unbreaking, infinity, punch, and flame. It just needs power. Huh. Cody Swiss says to be sure to apply the respiration to helmet. Alright, let's uh let's get my shit back and then we'll sort all this out.
Damn, I can't even take everything. I can't. My inventory is too full. I'll have to come back. All right, let me go and let me sleep. Let me empty all this shit out. What the hell? I don't think I have the cooked food. I think I just have the raw. I have a bunch of cooked food stored there. So maybe what we'll do next time when I play Minecraft, we'll try to build armor that can breathe underwater. I think I have it. I think I have respiration. I think I have the things I need to actually make the good armor. I do. I just need to um to actually know how to make it now. All right, let's put everything away. Nautilus shell doesn't go in there. Oh, here's the cooked cod. Look at all the fucking enchantment books I got. Holy shit. This is just wild. Oh, shit. There we go. I have a hundred saddles now. Whoa, so many. Actually, flint would be a crafting material. There you go. And the Nautilus shells, right? Yep, okay. I don't need the arrows anymore. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna make one of my bows infinite. So that way I don't have to worry about the arrows ever. It just shoots the infinite arrows, right? Don't ever have to craft them. I have an extra bowl. Alright, real quick. Let's just grab those blocks out of the dock. And I think I'm just I'm going to call it a night, guys. So here's the deal. For those who are wondering, because I see some people are asking. So tomorrow I'm going to be playing Kingdom Hearts. And Black Ops 4 Blackout is going to resume. I know I haven't played that in a while. That's going to be tomorrow, Okay. Um, then on Sunday, it's either going to be Black, uh, Black Ops 4 multiplayer or more Kingdom Hearts. I haven't decided yet. And Sunday night, I think I'm going to do that stream of maybe Piranha Plant in King, in, uh, Smash Ultimate. And then on Monday, I'll probably do whatever I didn't do on Sunday. And I'll pair that maybe with more Minecraft. Because then we'll come full circle. I could go back to it. Or I may start doing some more Dark Souls Remastered. Maybe I'll start doing that like Monday night. Um, and then maybe so Minecraft will maybe be Tuesday night. But the, let me put it this way. My next day off is Wednesday. I am planning on doing one more stream of Minecraft uh, before I go on break. Okay? So before I take time off on Wednesday, one night I will probably be playing more more Minecraft. Fair enough? All right, let's save up. We did a lot. We got to you know, Even though I lost a lot, I lost the pickaxe. Next time I think what I'll try to do is figure out how can we replace that pickaxe. How can I enchant the armor... To let me go underwater and do stuff underwater. Because that seems like the next logical step of stuff I haven't done, right? Alright, very nice. Um, 